this is Yvonne Brill. My professional career began in 1945 in the aircraft industry, but in 1946 shifted into the new field of rockets. During the next 20 years, I worked on rocket, ramjet, turbojet, turbofan engines, and evaluation of new rocket propellants as required by my location, which in those days followed my husband's best opportunities, rather career opportunities rather than mine. In 1966, however, a position in the Princeton area where we lived opened up for a spacecraft propulsion engineer at RCA Astro Electronics. I was the only propulsion engineer on the Astro staff and found myself in charge of launch vehicles, solid rocket motors, and spacecraft onboard propulsion. I quickly learned that Hughes, a major spacecraft competitor, had a staff of 76 propulsion engineers. Of course, they were all men, and we all know how a woman's efficiency compares. The RCA job was a fun job and truly reflects that life begins at 40. Here are a few of the highlights of the 20 years at RCA which resulted in significant contributions to the art. Here I am firing a five pound rocket engine uh, outside the RCA Astro plant. This picture shows the hydrazine, electrothermal hydrazine propulsion system that Brill invented in 1967. Uh, this is the uh, picture of a proof of concept that we tested at RCA's Cape Swampy, which was a discarded sewage disposal plant behind the engineering buildings converted into a rocket test facility. In 1967, Brill invented her patented hydrazine electrothermal hydrazine propulsion system, which positions a satellite in a fixed geosynchronous orbit uh, longer than with other systems or alternatively allows a larger payload capacity. It works on the simple concept of adding heat to the propellant decomposition products in the rocket combustion chamber before they are expelled in the exhaust. The higher chamber temperature achieved gives higher performance. This invention is still widely used on operational communication satellites built by RCA GE Lockheed Martin. This picture shows the electrothermal hydrazine thrusters ready for shipment on display at uh, Rocket, the rocket research company, the company that manufactures them for use on commercial communication satellites. This could be entitled, It Works. The sheer joy of a successful test firing of a prototype engine is shown here. This is the Teflon solid propellant pulse plasma propulsion system whose successful utilization on the Navy's Nova satellite, a 1981 launch, brought electric propulsion to an operational status in the United States. Brill managed the propulsion system fabrication and qualification and readiness for flight. The precision afforded by this satellite during the 1980s prior to the Global Positioning Satellite System allowed the U.S. fleet to obtain remarkably ac accurate position data in real time. The innovative propulsion system designed by Brill in the 1970s for three atmosphere explorer spacecraft allowed scientists to gather extensive data on the Earth's thermosphere for the first time. The thermosphere is where most of the sun's ultraviolet radiation is absorbed. Three, the Atmosphere Explorer mission and one of the spacecraft are pictured here. The propellant tanks used were the crucial component of the Atmosphere Explorer propulsion system. They allowed accurate predi prediction of propellant location in the tanks during depletion, permitting the spacecraft to gather atmospheric property data in lower altitude orbits than were previously possible. Uh, this picture shows Brill at work at RCA Astro in the clean room inspecting the propulsion system of a geosynchronous RCA satellite. This picture is the Thor 3 spacecraft prior to its shipment to Cape Canaveral for a successful launch on May 19, 1997. Hughes is the spacecraft builder and Brill worked as a consultant for Telenor Telespace uh, on, on this spacecraft. Uh, posing with the spacecraft with me are Carol, Carol Elliott, Telenor Ground Ops, Nina Myron, who's an RF engineer for Telenor, and Barbara O'Melia, Program Manager for Hughes Thor 3, and Laura Goliashevsky, uh, who is also a telespace consultant who is a solar power and battery expert.